How does a young guy from China with no particular wealth or connections manage to become a billionaire advisor to the Cambodian government in just a few years? That's the question I've been a little bit obsessed with for a while now. When I lived in Cambodia, it was impossible to drive around without seeing signs for the Prince Group everywhere. They've got banks, shopping malls, casinos, high-rises. They're one of the biggest conglomerates in the country. Globally, Prince and its executives have more than one and a half billion dollars in companies ranging from Cuban cigars to California sex toys. But as the company's grown so quickly, it's also been dogged with allegations of criminality. Illegal online gambling, cyber scamming, money laundering, this kind of thing. This is what, for the last three years, I've been investigating. Now, a spokesperson for the company told me that they've been the victims of impersonation, uh, that they deny all the charges. But we've seen evidence that at least $700 million of Prince Group revenue comes from illegal online gambling rings. Other illegal money seems to have been washed via silly virtual slot machines. And on Cambodia's border with Vietnam, a Prince-linked compound appears to be holding enslaved cyber scammers. With the chairman of Prince, an advisor to both the current and former prime ministers of Cambodia, well, it all raises a lot of questions about how this company is continuing to operate.